So hey guys, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about how Fashion Nova ruined fashion. Now the title is a bit dramatic because obviously the fashion industry is a billion dollar industry, but I truly believe that Fashion Nova has left an indelible mark on modern fashion and urban pop culture, as well as just the fashion industry as a whole. According to the Fashion Nova website, Fashion Nova is the world's leading quick to market apparel and lifestyle style brand. They are renowned for delivering the season's most wanted styles to millions of people worldwide, which earned them the title of the number one most searched fashion brand on Google in 2018. As a Los Angeles-based company with five retail stores throughout Southern California, Fashion Nova sells collections for women, men, curve, and kids. Fashion Nova is a pop culture phenomenon reaching staggering social media followings of over 25 million, of which includes celebrity fans and collaborators. Fashion Nova was founded and is owned by Richard Sagian, who started in his father's clothing boutique in Los Angeles. However, it wasn't until 2006 before Richard decided to branch out and open the first Fashion Nova store in Panorama City. The brand first started out selling affordable clubwear clothing and then built up from there. In 2013, he launched the e-commerce website, which soon became their main presence and a significant source for shoppers. Now, Fashion Nova has had an infamous reign on the fashion industry. I think from a business standpoint, I admire the come up and the success. To make a fast fashion brand that I know costs little to nothing to make and maintain, their prevalence and intercollaboration with young women everywhere is actually stunning. But I can't help but think of the multitude of reasons why Fashion Nova has contributed to the diminishment of traditional fashion and the industry as we see it today. So I've broken this video down into four main talking points. And without further ado, let's get right into this video. So point number one is Fashion Nova oversaturated fast fashion. The main thing people People like about Fashion Nova is their ability to give you a vast variety of fashion options that are sometimes unique, sometimes risque, but always affordable. And that affordability stems from the fact that they are considered fast fashion. Now, fast fashion is defined as inexpensive clothing produced rapidly by mass market retailers in response to the latest trends. Furthermore, fast fashion is a term used to describe the clothing industry business model of replicating recent catwalk trends and high fashion designs, mass producing them at low cost, and bringing them to retail stores quickly while demand is highest. So the idea of affordability is subjective to the consumer. I think some of the items are technically affordable, but sometimes I see items and I'm like, it costs all of that for this little rinky dink thing. So Fashion Nova has mastered fast fashion by creating and or stealing, which we'll get into in my next point, and being able to bring them to the average consumer at a fraction of the cost. The productivity behind the fast fashion is literally in the term itself. It's fast. So I looked into what fast fashion really entails and it's not really environmentally friendly. The production of fast fashion clothes uses toxic chemicals, dangerous dyes, and synthetic fabrics that seep into water supplies in foreign countries where the clothing is made and at home where the clothing is being washed. The fashion industry produces 10% of all humanity's carbon emissions. And that's huge considering it's not really a necessity for the average girl to have the latest trends at a discounted rate. But I think Fashion Nova had a long reign of utilizing this production method and it was unbeknownst to the the consumer for years. It wasn't until years after the hype of Fashion Nova that people started to question how they got things made so fast and how they are able to make things so inexpensive in comparison to high-end designers and runway designs. Fashion Nova oversaturated fast fashion not only by adding to the waste and pollution globally, but also milking it to the consumers who are desperate for the designs they see on their favorite celebs and influencers. By this, I mean they will and have been called out for selling knockoffs of avant-garde fashion pieces. In two 2019, Kim Kardashian subliminally called out Fashion Nova for doing this by tweeting, it's devastating to see these fashion companies rip off designs that have taken the blood, sweat, and tears of true designers who have put their all into their own original ideas. And although Kim K should be one of the last people talking about ripping off people and stealing designs and ideas, I do agree that Fashion Nova is a culprit of doing this. I think it stems from them owning the fact that they are a knockoff, but they're proud of that. They're proud that they take the designs and ideas from both high-end and indie fashion designers and make their own version of it so they can get the bigger profit margin because they have a bigger brand. In business, it's smart, but in morality, it's definitely conflicting. But a lot of people will say there is little to no morality in big business. Their oversaturation of fast fashion is one of the sole reasons that they are relevant, popular, and lucrative. They know that they can tweak designs to avoid lawsuits for copyright infringements and follow up with mass production of the most desired trends, and this has and always will work 
for them. Now, point number two is Fashion Nova stole from designers. Fashion Nova has stolen from designers, both big and small, known and unknown, white and black. And they really show no remorse. I think this has really affected the fashion industry because, because Fashion Nova has so much pull and they base their brand strategy off of affordability, they do want to maintain the image of what is trendy, but possibly out of the budget of the average young lady. So what's the way to do that? Steal and take from creatives who are either independent or upcoming and who may not have copyrighted their designs, do some minor tweaks and then boom, sell it to their millions of consumers who don't know any better. Just taking a trip down memory lane, I can remember so many young, talented and black designers who have called Fashion Nova out for stealing designs. Most recently, I remember when Meg Thee Stallion dropped her collaboration with Fashion Nova and a designer by the name of Asia called her out. Now, I will say, I don't think Meg was the person behind this, but when your name is on it, you're kind of the bad guy by default. So one of the dresses from the lineup that was coined the chase the bag shoulder pad mini dress in Meg's line for Fashion Nova appears on your screen now and it strongly resembles which in my opinion it basically looks the exact same as Asia's dress which is called the TLZ Femme Dress in her company. Now is this directly on Fashion Nova? Yes because Meg Thee Stallion is just the face of the brand. The team which consists of Meg's management and I'm assuming Fashion Nova's PR team approved these designs for the collection. They are the ones who source the ideas and just put it on Meg's table for her to say yes or no. So this whole notion of them taken from indie designers isn't a one-time thing. Fashion Nova has also been called out for ordering one or a few items from indie brands, studying the designs, and then sending them back just for them to come out with a product that looks exactly like the item they got from said designer. This whole take and copy notion has really ruined fashion because being that Fashion Nova is so big, they almost get little to no consequence for it. It's really hard to prove someone stole your design without having a patent or copyright on the design. I think a lot of designers just have to look into getting a patent for your designs because big shark companies like Fashion Nova will continually get away with taking your stuff and using it to fill their own pockets. I mean, their profits are insane. They make $1.3 million a month. So they have the capital to actually hire all of these designers and do it the right way, but they choose to be shady and undercut creatives for their own benefit. Now, point number three is cheap quality. I have ordered Fashion Nova a few times, mainly before I knew what they were all about. I will say I do think their jeans are it. If they were solely a denim jean company, I would be in full support and full favor of that. But some of the stuff I've seen them sell and then you get it in person and it's like, what the fuck is that? In my Nardowick voice. I think their clothes are poorly made and have gotten worse over the years because they are just so popular and they don't put the amount of effort into the quality because people are going to buy it anyway. I researched an article called Everything Wrong with Fashion Nova on basicblonde.com. The writer says, I made one purchase from Fashion Nova to see what the rage was about. I got about 10 items and can count on one hand the number of times I wore all of them. Immediately upon receiving the clothes, I could tell that it was poorly manufactured. They were brand new items that were already fringing from the seams and made with cheap material. The first item I wore was a strappy long pant jumpsuit. As we all know, jumpsuits are not easy to go to the bathroom in. And upon trying to do that, one of the straps snapped off. It was almost no force. Several other items were piling or severely wrinkled after washing them. Now, I've heard many reviews with the same stories, and it's like, if this company is raking in over $15 million a year, how can quality not be a top priority? This adds to my thesis of them ruining fashion because one, it's almost become a standard for fast fashion companies to have bad quality, so people will keep buying, but in turn have lowered their expectations, and two, the high-end companies can't compete with the average consumer market, even though they're offering better work, but just for higher prices. Pricing. Their clothes barely last a few washes and most of their stuff becomes so last season really fast. I think it's crazy how so many people still consider Fashion Nova a top contender in the fashion industry when what you see is not always what you get and so many people have been victims of torn clothes, cheap fabrics, broken straps, wobbly heels, and the whole nine yards. Their quality is definitely not up there and that's the result of fast fashion and the hype of Fashion Nova being almost cult-like in the society of young women globally. Now the fourth and final point is Selling the false idea of perfection. I think them using the iconic yet famous Fashion Nova girl has really been the cherry on top for their marketing strategy. The idea of BBL culture is rampant and really trendy and Fashion Nova focuses on trends. Fashion Nova capitalized off of it from an early stage and that is one of the top reasons that they are successful. Before we were all privy to BBLs and surgical and non-surgical body enhancements, we just thought, hey, Fashion Nova brands their items on these curvaceous bodies and if we buy it, we will also look like that. 
that. It's one of the oldest marketing strategies in the book, and it's called selling our consumers a fantasy. Sort of like Victoria's Secret did for ages, even though theirs was way more subtle and honest, they sold the fantasy of beautiful women in lingerie and making women feel majestic and beautiful if they wore Victoria's Secret. Jodi Jo, aka the Fashion Nova girl, has become the literal face of Fashion Nova, and she is so surgically enhanced that sometimes it hurts to just look at her, or when she's modeling some of their items, it's like, is that even comfortable? Let's be real. Fashion Nova claims to be size inclusive, which I will give them credit for expanding their brand for plus size women, but their clothes are definitely not for everybody's body type. Referencing the same article from basicblonde.com, the writer says, the next reason why you should shop elsewhere is because this brand was not designed for everyone. While they emphasize ethnic diversity, there's not much body type diversity. Fashion Nova is tailored toward curvy, big bottom, big breast women. While we all would like to have such assets, most of us do not. What looks great on the models in the photos is not going to look good on 90% of the women. And I truly agree. They wholeheartedly sell people the illusion of looking like their models if you buy their clothes and grown women still fall for that. It's almost embarrassing and sick because there's a man at the top of all of this who is directly profiting from the insecurities of young women. I think a lot of their clothes are tacky and just made for BBLs only. And this further drives women to plunge into that pond of surgery and social validation. Not to mention they utilize the celebrity and influence of every known and barely known celebrity and influencer to promote their clothes as if the Fashion Nova look is attainable by spending a few hundred dollars on 15 of their items. I will give them an A plus for finding a branding strategy that works for them, but it ruins the idea of the essence of fashion and that is individualized style, comfort, and creativity through clothes no matter the model or the person who is wearing it. In my modeling agency called the Queen Team Models, we have no height or weight or dress size requirements because I hate the idea that you have to be no bigger than a size four to model or no shorter than five seven to model like that's just not it fashion nova uses one of the most detrimental trends which is surgical enhancements and plays on the insecurity of women to sell a false reality of perfection and profit tremendously all while ruining the fashion industry so that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below i really want to know what you guys think about this topic because it's been on my mind for a while like this one has been deep down in my vault for a while don't forget to stream my new song ballin it is out on all platforms we've been doing pretty good we're about to hit 20,000 views on the YouTube video. I will have it pinned down below. And lastly, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.